Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. At about 10.15 local time there in Oklahoma, near Perry, there was a magnitude 4.2 earthquake. 1,644 people reported this earthquake. This was definitely a fracking caused earthquake. How do I know? By the focal mechanism ball. The initial first wave of the earthquake came from the west. Tension was applied going straight down. There is no fault line for this focal mechanism ball. But what did happen was the ground rose up. Part of it dropped and another part rose up. This was strictly a oil and gas industry induced earthquake. The largest they've had since May 17th of last year, 2019. Protocol calls when they have a large induced earthquake that the um, injection of fluids into the ground must cease. That earthquake they had on May 17th of 2019 was a magnitude 4.4. Uh, this was actually larger. It was originally a magnitude 4.5, but they downgraded it to a magnitude 4.2. Why did they downgrade it? Well, they don't want you to freak out about the oil and gas industry causing earthquakes. The USGS was originally formed so they could do exploration for resources, gas, and oil, and coal, using tax dollars money. Here we got 4.61, 4.97, 4 4.51. I've never seen where they've actually given so many digits after the point. 4.60, 4.63. Uh, 4.67, 4 4.7, uh, 4.4, 4, excuse me, uh, 4.82. Yeah, you can see they deliberately downgraded this earthquake. Using Google Earth, here's the location. Yeah, look at that. And yeah, we got some ancient sand blowholes from past earthquakes. Look up over here. Another blowhole from past earthquakes. Um, yeah, this area supposedly is capable of having a magnitude 5 or greater earthquake. Yeah. Um, with the oil and gas industry, pay for damages or deaths or injuries that are caused by this fracking. Yeah, I really doubt it. Reports of this earthquake were widely reported across Kansas, Missouri, and Arkansas. Look at all these reports. Let's see, here's the Arkansas one. One response. Uh, Kansas City, all the way up to St. Joseph. Three responses there. Uh, Nebraska reported feeling this earthquake. Yep. Like I said, um, they're supposed to shut down uh, the injection of fluids into the ground once an earthquake like this happens. I don't know if they will. Um, well, we got one response there, 21 there. Um, let me check some of this out. 113 there. Two there. Two there. One there, one there. We got a green spot over here. Uh, let's see. One read there, one read there. Getting a little tongue tied here. Like I said, they downgraded this earthquake from a 4.5, which was probably larger than that. Uh, EMSC felt reports hard shaking of apartment building, rolling rumble. Uh, damage to house foundation. Yeah, and of course, mainstream media is not reporting damage. Hard shaking. House felt like it was rolling. Now, this one was 37 kilometers southeast. So that would be about 23 miles from where this earthquake occurred. And seemed to rumble a long time. 51 kilometers. 
uh, jolted the house for 30 seconds. 66 kilometers, which would be 41 miles, 66 kilometers, rattled glass, shook bed. Um, heard some noise similar to a door slamming shut, followed by a distinct side-to-side -side shaking motion for about eight seconds. I was asleep upstairs in bed, hard, loud sound, then rumble for about 30 seconds. All doors upstairs were shaking, and our dogs were frightened from the sound and shaking. My location is 40 miles southeast of Perry. 125 kilometers from where this happened. Felt walls rumble on the floor, too. My bed jolted sharply. Was quick. Felt some shaking here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But not too bad. I'm from California, so I knew what it was immediately. I was laying in bed, and all of a sudden my bed started shaking, and my window was shaking, and I could hear a slight rumble. Another report. House swayed a bit, but nothing fell off the walls. No furniture disturbed, etc. Another report. Floor dropped. China cabinet rattled. Two, re two more reports from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Here, this one's 130 kilometers. It said my husband and I were sitting in our recliners in South, Tul in South Tulsa. We both knew immediately what it was, an earthquake. The house popped and the chair shook for about three seconds. 135 kilometers from the epicenter. My cat became very um, agitated. And about the time we noticed this behavior and tried to question it, we saw the rumble downstairs with a few pieces of furniture. And my daughter ran down from the upstairs and said all of her doors were shaking. They were closed and her bed shook. People are still sending in their reports. Now it's up to 1,657. Will they upgrade it again? I don't know. And there is damage that they are not reporting. So what are your thoughts about this? Uh, please put your comments down below. Uh, please be prepared for a large earthquake. Have your hot water he heaters uh, secured to um, the wall. Have large furniture secured to the wall. Even the TV set, my TV set, um, you know, they do sell straps to secure, you know, large flat screen TVs to the wall. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.